Shaikh. Welcome back to the Phone Gap video tutorial. Today we're gonna see the second part of a SQLite, third part of SQLite Cache. How we can implement that in our Phone Gap application. So before start, just recap a last video. Okay, in last video tutorial we have created a sample application called SQLite App. Okay, if you remember that, uh, in that we have uh, included, we have added the SQLite plugin by using our Node.js command prompt and we have implemented uh, the database. We have created a simple table. Inside we have made a simple data entry step. Okay. Now, okay, if you don't remember that, just visit my channel youtube.com slash web hosting. Okay, here is a video. You can find all uh, the details inside this video. Okay, this is the second part. Okay, now what we are going to do to in today's video. Okay, uh, first of all, I will show you the existing code. Okay, this is our last created code. Okay, we have a database and uh, we have a insert value. By clicking on the add button, we are going to insert the value into the application. Okay, here I have loaded the application that is SQLite app. Okay. If you see here, we have a add functionality. Okay, but currently we are not going to see any record. Okay, which we have installed and which we have inserted in last video. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how you can fetch the records from PhoneGap by using the third party plugin. Okay. So here I have created a simple function for that. First of all, we have a button show values. By clicking on a show record, we are going to call a show values function and the function is declared over here. Okay. DB, which is already created our common application, sorry, common variable. And we are uh, creating a transaction and firing a query that select star from demo record, right? It will fetch all the records from the table inside a array. We can also set it with the result variable, right? And here I'm creating a simple table header. Okay, here I'm getting a each and every column of a row and uh, appending into the string okay and at last we are giving all the string to our table which is declared over here okay this is a simple value okay we are not doing any hard or any uh, extreme code okay it's a just simple as simple as you have developed inside a web sql db okay there is no need to do any extreme stuff okay now the question is why should I use this plugin, right? Or why should I use the third party plugin for SQLite if HTML5 browser giving the inbuilt facilities to use the web SQL DB, which is a subset of it, right? So the biggest point is why we should use the third party plugin, right? The point is, first of all, let me tell you, uh, let me load plugin which we have used right okay the, ba the main benefit is that okay if you have used the web SQL as in database okay the DB can be accessible only via browser okay that means via HTML5 browser right in phone gap it's accessible via web right okay now suppose you have a requirement that your application sh con should be continuously running. Just you want to uh, create a service for Android application. Okay. And if you develop a service, that means you need a database ac uh, database access. Okay. And the service is going to run uh, whenever you uh, boot your mobile application. Right. 
but your application is not running the service is installed that's why it automatically uh, sends the request to the server get all the data from the server and store into the pc okay this facility can be accessible if you use a third party application plugin okay the third party application plugins what they are doing actually they have created a lots of java code okay native java code for android and for the native ios of the pc or maybe it may be um, what the new language is okay swift right okay so they have created a whole uh, native uh, native uh, working uh, and converted and given a bridge between native to web to using the java script okay that's why i suggest you to use the uh, native sorry the third party plugins okay and what are the disadvantages okay the disadvantage is that if uh, if you find any bugs inside a java code or object is being used okay that you have to maintain yourself okay or the author should you have to report it to the author or uh, you have to wait till the author resolves that issue okay this is a normal issue and uh, before using this plugin i recommend and i uh, tell you that please please read all the documents which is provided by the author okay uh, here is all the details what are the announcements highlights limitations okay everything which is listed over here so before starting uh, using this uh, plugin inside application just please read all this and then start to use this okay so let's come back to the our application i'm going to install the latex application inside the simulator so here cordova run android okay it will automatically deploy our application to simulator so just wait for a second running so okay the application is launched i'll click on show records so whenever i click on show records okay i got the records okay so at once you guys can uh, get all the records from the database okay in the next video we're gonna ag that means we're gonna update these records okay as soon as we will add a button over here and the first column uh, that is the, that should be your edit button whenever i click on edit button that particular record will be loaded on the form and all the buttons and grid will get hit hide and uh, the add button will automatically convert it to the update button okay and as soon as we click on update button the records will get updated okay so don't forget to watch my next video thanks for watching keep learning keep practicing thanks bye bye and i just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors devmountain.com uh, just because of them i'm recording this video tutorial for you guys actually they are running a coding boot camp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development <coughs> web development ios development and ux design for the full time and after hours okay uh, the main important point they'll teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field okay so uh, i would like to request to just check out their website demartin.com and uh, i have already put uh, put down the links inside the description box below and uh, one more thing if you do contact with them just tell them my reference okay uh, till then keep learning bye bye